So Coulomb's law is kq1 q2 divided by r squared. k is Coulomb's constant, which is 8.988 times 10 to the 9th newtons meter squared per Coulomb squared. q1 and q2 are the charged objects that are interacting, which is measured in Coulombs. And r is the distance of separation between those two objects measured in meters. Okay, for this example, we're going to be looking at electrostatic forces, Coulomb's law in two dimensions. So here you can see we have a triangular shape, right angle triangle. We want to find the net force acting on charge B. We're given the lengths of the distances between A and B and C and B. So charges are just the same as the first question. 5.64 microcoulombs for A, which is positively charged. Negative 6.45 microcoulombs for charge B and 12.32 microcoulombs for charge C, which is also positively charged, and I've already put it into the correct notation. Let's start off by looking at the interaction between A and B. Now, A is positively charged, B is negatively charged, so when we find the electrostatic force or the Coulomb force, we know that it's going to be pointing upwards because A attracts B. So interaction between A and B, Coulomb's constant, charge on A, charge on B, distance of separation, multiply out the tops, square the bottom, here's what we get, 0.32696564 newton meters squared per coulomb squared times the charges which were coulombs squared. And as we've seen in the first example, the coulombs cancel out and the meters cancel out and now we're simply left with units of newtons. Take the top divided by the bottom. That gives us 21.472 newtons and as we said this is going to be in the up direction because it's attractive upwards. Let's take a look at the interaction between B and C. So B is negatively charged, C is positively charged which means C will be pulling B towards the right Distance of separation is 16.72 centimeters. Coulomb's equation, here's our K. This is our charge on B. This is our charge on C. And the distance of separation in meters. Multiply out the top, square the bottom. Here's what we get. And with all the other examples, the Coulombs cancel out, the meters cancel out. And now we're left with 0.7142224 newtons divided by 0 0.0729558. So when we do that division, we get 25.5482. And in this case, the direction is going to be towards the right. We had 25.5482 newtons going towards the right. We had a force of 21.472 newtons going upwards. It's a right angle triangle. This is my X component. This is my Y component. We're going to be using Pythagorean theorem. 25.5482 newton squared plus 21.472 newton squared. Take the square root. So that gives us the square root of 1113.7573. And then this would be newton squared plus newton squared. Take the square root. Taking the square root, we get 37.3700 newtons. We now need to find the angle. So here is our triangle. We had an x component of 25.5482 newtons towards the right, 21.472 newtons up. Here's the angle I want to find. So this is opposite over adjacent. This is 10. 10 is 21.472 newtons divided by 25.5482 newtons. So tan of theta is 0.840449. Second function or inverse tan gives us 40.0455 degrees. We know our hypotenuse was 33 and change. We just found out that this angle is 40 degrees and change. So our final answer is going to be rounded to three sig digs, 33.4 newtons, right 40 degrees up.